I realize that many of you that are watching today are experiencing pain in your physical bodies. Maybe you've been diagnosed with some kind of a disease, possibly a, a terminal disease. Maybe you don't have long to live, according to the doctor. But I want to share with you today from God's Word that healing is for everyone, and that includes you. God is no respecter of persons. When we look in the Word of God, we see that God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power, and He went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed to the devil because God was with him. So right now, wherever you're at, you may be in your home, you may be in a hospital, you may be in a rest home, you may be in, in a hotel room somewhere, and you're experiencing physical pain. If you'll just listen very carefully to what the Bible says over the next few minutes, faith comes by hearing and by hearing God's Word. And as you hear God's Word in your heart, and if you believe what God says, I believe that God's anointing will flow right out to you and sickness and disease will be removed from your body and the life of God can extend your physical life. In the beginning when God created Adam, He created him to live forever. I believe Adam in the Garden of Eden never had the flu, never had a head cold, never had a backache, never had cancer, didn't have heart disease, didn't have diabetes, he wasn't allergic to anything, but then something happened. And listen to what that was. In uh, Genesis chapter 2, verse 15, it says, The Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to tend and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden you may freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat, for in the day that you eat thereof you shall surely die. Now the Bible margin says in the Hebrew, In dying you shall die. That means a double death. First of all, Adam died spiritually. That meant separation from God. And we call that spiritual death. But he also died physically, but that was 930 years later. He lived to be 930 years old. God created him originally to live forever. But when he sinned, the wages of sin is death. So when sin was committed, death followed thereafter. But it was never God's will for him to die, and it wasn't God's will for him to be sick. So in Exodus chapter 15, listen to what the Lord says to the nation of Israel in Exodus 15, 26. He said, If you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in His sight, give ear to His commandments and keep all of His statutes, I will put none of these diseases on you which I brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. Now in the Hebrew, it literally literally says, I am the Lord your physician, or I am God your doctor, okay? So you need to understand God desires for you to be well, and He has provided a way whereby you can receive supernatural health, supernatural healing in your physical body. Now I, read, I realize I'm reading from the Old Testament, but all of this is pointing to the New Testament, the New Covenant, where Jesus Christ confirms every one of these words and fulfills every one of these prophecies. Jesus is the fulfillment of every promise that God gave. Now, uh, we just go one more verse over in the uh, book of Exodus, chapter 23, uh, verses 25 and 26, and it says, So shall you serve the Lord your God, and He will bless your bread and your water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of you. No one shall suffer miscarriage or be barren in your land. I will fulfill the number of your days. Literally, he was saying to Israel that if you'll just listen to me and follow my word, follow my directions, follow my instructions, I will remove sickness from you because it was never my will in the first place. I will take sickness and disease away from the midst of you because I never wanted you to be sick. Healing is for you. And so he also said, I will fulfill the number of your days. How many of you realize that God has given you life through Jesus Christ? And he wants you to live a long and a full life. The Bible tells us in uh, the Psalms that he will satisfy us with long life and he will show us his salvation. And so today, I want to pray for you. I want to pray with you what the Bible calls the prayer of faith.
The Bible says the prayer of faith will save the sick and the Lord will raise him up. Okay? And so right now, wherever you're at and whatever condition you're in physically, I want to pray with you right now and I want you to agree with me. Matthew 18, 19 says, When two of us agree on earth as touching anything we ask, it shall be done for us by our Father in heaven. So I just want to extend my hand to you in faith and say to you, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I take authority over pain, over sickness, over disease, over allergies, over any life-threatening maladies in your life, and I command them to leave your body in the name of Jesus Christ. And by the authority of the Word of God that tells us, by His stripes you are healed, I send the Word of God to heal you right now and to deliver you from all destruction. Receive health and wholeness in your body through the stripes of Jesus Christ. We believe it done in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Now listen, right now, all I ask you to do is just thank God. Just begin to thank Him and praise Him that you, by faith, have received health in your body. And begin to move around and try to do something that you couldn't do before. We want you to call in and let us know that God touched your physical body and that you are better. Expect God to keep His word because healing is indeed for everyone. And beloved, that includes you today. Praise God. <laughs>